zomygodatcj.com. Hey guys, this is Grim and Jeff from zomygodatcj.com, and these are our first impressions of the Nokia C6, uh, Nokia's new budget sliding QWERTY device. Um, so far, we actually really like the phone. It's quite feature rich for its price. Um, I believe in India it's going to retail for about 13,000 rupees which is actually pretty good because it has GPS, Wi-Fi, um, everything you could possibly want in the phone. Um, I actually know a couple N97 owners who are a little bit pissed because this phone can do almost all the things that the N97 can uh, for a much cheaper price. Alright, so as you can see, it's basically um, almost identical to the N97 variants. Um, there's the N-series digitized home screen, which is the first on a non-N-series device. Um, the keypad, the whole keyboard, it's pretty nice, it's full QWERTY. Um, I like the fact that it has a D-pad, even though a couple of people don't. Um, it's really useful to get to a couple places very fast. Um, it's also one of the best... Um, Okay, I wouldn't say the best, but one of the better uh, keypads that we've used um, on a sliding device. So yeah, apart from that, there's a micro SD card. It comes with a 2 GB micro SD card. Um, there's also 256 MB of internal memory, which is pretty decent. Um, there's a 3.5 mm jack, which doesn't have TV out. There's a micro USD connector right here behind this. Um, unfortunately, this C6 does not charge by micro USB. So that's a bit unfortunate. There's um, the usual dedicated camera keys right here, and the volume and zoom in keys right there. Um, and then that's the sliding keypad lock key. Same usual stuff there. And last we have the Nokia charging port, standard Nokia pin, and a little hole for your lanyard cable. So yeah, it's basically um, what you'd expect. There's also a five megapixel camera on the back. Non Carl Zeiss though, so the quality isn't that great at all. We'll have a couple of camera samples up later um, in the week. And there's also a single LED flash. Um, like I said, nothing too major. Um, there's also a mono speaker on the back, which isn't very loud. If you put it flat onto a surface, you won't be able to hear it very well. So that's a bit of a problem. Software wise, uh, like I said, it's almost identical to um, S60 version 5 on the N97, everything's basically the same. You can have your favorites right there, um, store the numbers under it, and you know, the basic stuff that we've seen. There's also integration with Nokia's music store, um, OV Music. Uh, basically, everything's more or less exactly the same. The web browser does have one thing new though. Um, if you go to a new page, you can directly search right from here, uh, which is pretty cool. Apart from that, it renders web pages almost exactly the same as the N97. Photos are arranged exactly the same. Again, nothing new here. The email client also has default HTML view, and you can see that the icons are a little bit different right here. Um, there is Nokia messaging uh, pre-installed on this, but we weren't able to get it working. Um, probably because Nokia messaging has had a little bit of problems in the last couple of days, so it's not exactly the C6's fault. Um, apart from that, any applications you install are in the um, applications folder that you can see right here. There are a couple pre-installed. Um, I installed the Zomega CJ app also, which you can get from the UOV store. Um, basically exactly the same stuff. Um, so yeah, there's also OV store integration, so you can download apps right from the OV store. Um, so yeah, basically the same stuff, uh, but the cool factor is that it's on a C-series device, which is less than half the price of the N-series flagship um, when it launched. So yeah, we actually like the C6. Um, for more on this, check out our post on zomai.cj.com. Um, we'll have more details up on the post. So yeah, that's about it. This is the Nokia C6, and I'm Clinton Jeff from zomai.cj.com.